Okay, okay, I see you, Nina. Kamusta, mabuhay, magandang araw, and welcome back to MGN Diego. I was Yovela, and today I will be reacting to Nina's rendition of Someday. When I did my reaction to Casey Tandingan performing Someday, and I loved it, she killed it and apparently you guys also thought that she nailed it like i said in my video i did not think that anyone would uh, dislike that performance she killed it um i asked you in that video to send me nina's performance of someday either on instagram or on facebook and you guys did so thank you thank you so much um and yeah i just wanted to mention the fact that i did confuse uh kyla for nina in my uh, reaction video because both names finish with A and both names have four letters. Kaila Nina. You know, so in my mind, I'm like, which one is it? And come on, you cannot be upset about that. I mean, I am a foreigner who I think remembers uh, Filipino artists more than Filipinos, you know, so sometimes I do mess up. Uh, but yeah, I am excited about this. Uh, but before we start, I'd like to thank my dear patrons for their amazing support on Patreon because honestly, without them, MGN would have been closed a long time ago. So thank you so much. And of course, uh, consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. All right, without further ado, let's check out Nina Sing Someday, which is a beautiful, beautiful song. That is another reason why I asked you to send me the link. Let's go. Okay, so we have a live performance, nice. And she is playing piano because apparently the original song of Someday is acoustic. It's just the piano and her voice. I don't know, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that I have even more respect for singers that can play an instrument while singing. Like Morissette. As much as I think the Queen Regine Velasquez is amazing and unmatchable, you know, I, you know, she doesn't, I don't think she plays an instrument or sings while playing an instrument, you know, so, Personally, I have even more respect for artists that can nail a, a song, nail a performance while playing an instrument. So this is this is really awesome. Wait a minute, there are strings behind. So it's not just piano. But I'm not crazy. Uh, Casey Tandingan's version was just the piano, right? So far, I prefer KZ's version because KZ's version, granted KZ was not playing an instrument, but still so much flavor in KZ's version, you know, with those beautiful runs and riffs and oh, it was so beautiful. All right.
Okay, okay, she took it up a notch. That's what I was thinking. I was like, all right, while she is playing the piano, she has to think about both things, right? Play the piano and sing. So she kept the singing simple. As soon as she stopped, now things are getting serious and she's giving us runs, you know? Oh yeah. Her belt is extremely shiny. Okay, okay, I see you, Nina. All right, I have to mention something about the song though. Even though I think it's very beautiful, it does get a little bit repetitive, right? It's the same melody that is uh, in on loop, you know? So it's better if the artist that's singing it tries to make it his own and tries to change it up a little bit with the interesting runs here and there. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of uh, Mariah Carey with Nina here. Yeah. Nice, clean, beautiful vibrato. I'm definitely getting some Mariah powdery voice there. Even when she went down, you know, with her deep voice, it reminded me of Mariah's deep voice as well. All right. That was lovely. That was lovely. I still preferred KZ's uh, version because just KZ, KZ kind of takes me not to church per se, but she has so much soul in the way she sings and in her, in her runs. Those notes that she chooses are just mm, delicious, you know what I mean? So that's why I prefer KZ. Uh, but still, I really enjoyed Nina's version, even though it was more dumped down, you know, it, less crazy in a way, especially because she started while um, you know, playing the piano, so she had to focus on two things. It got a little bit more interesting when she stopped playing the piano, but it wasn't enough for me. And I know that uh, I did react, I believe, to Elaine Duran sing Someday, and I believe I reacted to that one with my co-host, my ex-co-host, uh, Amangel. So I would have to revisit that, you know, to see how well Elaine Duran sang it, because in the comment section below of the KZ Tandingan reaction video, you guys mentioned uh, Elaine Duran a lot, which uh, made me made me think that uh, her version was awesome. So I have to check that one again. But if I had to choose today my favorite version, I would say KZ's version was just my favorite. Uh, let me know in the comment section below which one between this one, KZ's and Elaine Duran, do you prefer? Oh yes, and before I forget, I might react to the music video. There is a music video of this song. So I might react to it and I will put it on Patreon for those of you who are interested. And I will probably see a younger Nina, probably. Uh, so yeah, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me. As usual, you guys are the best. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one as usual. Yes, indeed. Peace. Thank you for watching, subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.